Hello, and welcome to the Bankers Tech Talk video series, keeping tabs on the developments in the fintech space. I'm Joy McKnight, Managing Editor at The Banker, and this week my guest is Jishan Feroz, UK CEO at Coinbase, a digital currency exchange. Jishan, thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. The sort of currency, cryptocurrency exchange area is quite busy. How does Coinbase differentiate itself? I think the way we've tried to position ourselves or our, our brand has tried to position ourselves is to try and be the most trusted provider in the space and couple that with being the easiest to use. Those are probably the two pillars that I would um, use to differentiate us. And what we've done from a trusted point of view is we've always been very forthcoming in terms of our plans with regulators. We've cooperated and, and received the licenses in all the jurisdictions that we operate in to ensure that we are actively engaging with government law enforcement regulators to ensure that there are no surprises. Um, and so we have money transmission licenses in the US, we have any money license here in Europe. Um, all of that allows us to help establish that trusted brand. Um, and then on the, the second pillar to that is being the easiest to use. And, and for us, that's been about um, focusing on the user and what our users want and need. It's a relentless pursuit of mm. you know, finding the easiest and simplest ways uh, that people can interact with their Coinbase apps, which could be on the consumer side, where you can simply buy and sell crypto, and that's designed to be as seamless and easy as possible. And then on the institutional side, that's our exchange. And one of your goals really is to create a more open financial ecosystem. Mm -hmm. How does Coinbase do that? The foundation of an open financial system is to have as many um, individuals, entities, actors involved in that as possible. When the ecosystem is safe and easy to interact with, then that is conducive to more people interacting with it. So we have over on the retail side, for example, we have over 30 million customers now that uh, use the Coinbase apps. Our ultimate mission here is to, what we see crypto evolving into is a, a parallel a financial system, which mm. we, we actually believe will be the next generation of the financial system. Um, it'll be parallel during the transition stage, I believe. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to accelerate what I'd imagine, uh, what, what I think is about 100 years of financial evolution into the crypto ecosystem as quickly as we can. And that requires, you know, rebuilding a lot of the building blocks of the, the, the existing financial system. So giving the institutions, our institutional clients what they need, allowing customers to interact with the Coinbase ecosystem and the same way that they do with their existing financial system. Ho the hope and the goal here is ultimately that you'll have um, the crypto ecosystem will become the future of finance. And you talked a little bit about getting uh, your e-money license and you got it in Ireland and Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, what were the reasons behind that? Before that license, we were licensed, uh, we had an e-money license from the FCA in the UK. Okay. Um, so one of the drivers was post-Brexit, we lose passporting, which is our ability to offer services in the EU. Mm. Um, so we had to A, choose a second jurisdiction where we can continue operating within the EU. And then Ireland was a natural um, home for us in the sense that it's very close to the UK. We had a service centre that was based over there. We engaged with a few of the regulators in Europe and we found the central bank in Ireland to be the most progressive in that sense. So um, the goals there were to provide continuity of service to the rest of the EU, which is a very important market for us. My next question is really around something that you already mentioned, which is institutional mm -hmm. investors. You know, what do you think it's going to take to make them more confident in cryptocurrency? I think the number one thing, in, in my opinion, is regulation. Mm. I, you know, when you look at some of the large institutional players out there, they, they're they very heavily regulated and they operate in a, in a regulated space and in regulated instruments. And crypto today isn't regulated. That by itself makes it very difficult for a lot of businesses to allocate a percentage of their portfolios to crypto, for example. Um, I think regulation has come a long, long way from in the last three years. It's been top of mind, um, particularly with, say, things like Libra. Mm. Um, and then recently the Chinese government announcing their, their interest in the crypto space. So I think um, we've come a long way and, and some healthy regulation, which is which doesn't stifle innovation, but keeps all the risk, manages the risks and keeps the bad actors out, I think really will be the number one catalyst that helps institutions enter this place. Excellent. Thank you so much for your insights, Shishan. You're welcome.